morning guys today we will talk about how to test private method using chain market um, this is not a normal use case in many follow test driven development many follow test driven development you may not see you know this kind of situation coming up uh, you should be able to test all the private method using a public method but if you are working with the legacy code base and a lot of logic is written inside private methods and you know you don't have to test if your area of interest is a private method um, then uh, this capability of JMOKs will be useful for you to test the private methods so let's uh, write you know a test class that test the private method so test test class with uh, private method so that's a test class that we are writing obviously obviously we will be testing class with private method right private class with private method right now since the class doesn't exist just create the class create class in the source main right let's see this private for this example we will write a symbol say private um, some method some method will take uh, two arguments one is uh, int i and one is int j and return uh, the sum of return the sum of i and j right very simple very simple method so this is a private so this is not used because in the private method that compiler warning compile term warning so that's fine let's move on so let's test this method uh, this the JMO can actually give you uh, an annotation to initialize the class under test which is which annotation is called tested so plus first initial initialize the class under test and then say public void should get some right that's a method that you're going to test annotate it with uh, test annotation and then move forward so we cannot directly invoke that method because that method is not visible to us so jmo could give us something called the de encapsulation the de encapsulation class which will help us to invoke a method in a, in a, a class which is private so we have to give the name of the method which is sum and uh, we have to also give uh, an object array or a var argument uh, which is which is the argument for the method so it should be not null argument so this uh, method is supposed to report suppose suppo su supposed to invoke the private method and return the sum of one and two which is which is obviously three um, in sum is equal to three so let's assert that assert equals three comma sum right mm. Import the asset equals method and let's run the test case. And let's change it. So the test is invoked and uh, the session was succeeded. Let's see, let's see the debug mode if it is initialized indeed. All right, debug. Right, you can see it is in, invoked using one and two, and it's return uh, the sum of one and two. Now, there could be questions: Why? Why would we have to test the private method? Because every private method is accessible via a public method, at least via a public method. So, 
um, why would you even directly test a private method? It is a good question that normally we may not test a private method directly. But, uh, you know, think about a scenario that you are, you are working with a legacy code base and you are not interested to test any other areas other than this private method that you are going to change. In that case, yes, this will be useful. Um, uh, that's it for this video. And maybe in the next uh, video, I will show you how to avoid calling the superclass constructor using JMOKit. That also would be very helpful when you work with the legacy code base, where if you're testing a class hierarchy, if you're testing a class which is which is an which is a leaf of the class hierarchy or the or the last class in the hierarchy, in that case, um, all the superclasses need to be initialized. The constructor need to be called and all the superclasses might be expecting some state to get initialized so testing will become difficult in that case so this jmockit capability that you can mock out the superclass constructors to test uh, the subclasses i will talk about that in the next video thank you very much for watching this video